Hello guys. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students who are preparing for the FARM CF exam to help them to clear the exam in the first step. Now, with this, I'm going to be starting out with one interview of my student who has been able to clear the exam in May 2022 and his first attempt the FRM level 1 exam and he's a working professional he's going to be sharing with us his journey the way he prepared what all challenges he faced and how exactly he has been able to achieve a success in the exam again the purpose of these interviews is primarily to help students who can change their strategy by learning from their examples and also get motivated to give the exam in a better way so with this we'll start with the conversation so first of all paresh thank you very much for joining us and taking out time it's a weekday and along with the office you are taking out time to give 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 to the community and uh, sharing your journey so first of all thank you very much and welcome to the show thank you sir and primarily we're going to be starting out with the first question so primarily when you started the preparation for frm what was your status what were you doing how many years of work experience your educational background and what was your work primarily uh so thank you sir for giving this opportunity to me so that i could uh, express my journey and i could i think i will be able to share my journey since being a working professional having a hectic uh, worker so i can say that how a person can <clears throat> go ahead uh, with his frn level 1 preparation mm -hmm. uh, so primarily uh, when i started i started around january i was just inquiry i just inquired to you uh so at that point of time i was not sure if i should be giving the exam or i should be just attending the class to see how it is and then decide to give an exam or not but then talking to you you said that uh, since i have a bit of background in the finance domain i could give an attempt and if i have an intention of giving an attempt then only i would take it more seriously so that is why i had enrolled it uh, in the first place and Uh, talking about my background <clears throat> i have worked in a uh, risk space uh, for basel credit risk mm -hmm. uh, uh, in an it organization before uh, currently in a financial organization so i had a bit of background but then i wouldn't say that i had a complete background which frm had to offer so okay. uh, i was much comfortable with the concepts uh, and it also helped me in my field but then it was new as well Okay. Okay. And primarily, what was the total years of work experience you have till now? Uh, so till now, I have a, uh, around three years of work experience total. Okay. And you started your journey in mid of January for the May exam. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So and I started our... my journey in the mid of January, and I joined your weekday courses. Weekday in like mid May only. Right. Yeah. Right. And when you were doing that, so on a daily basis, on a weekday, primarily you were attending the lectures. From seven Correct. to nine, primarily. So, apart from that, did you had any other time to prepare on that particular day? So, uh, how I used to do is uh, after the lecture, I used to go through the chapter once again. Uh, from mm -hmm. I used only Spicer notes. Other than okay. that, I didn't use any other book. So, weekdays I did that. Whatever chapter was taught, I used to revise the same chapter. and mm -hmm. uh, i have a method in my revision that i write it down all the points which i think are important except okay. what i write it uh, during our lectures as well so these are my self made notes okay and wonderful. during the weekends i used to give tests on all of those and then uh, during the test uh, which i used to come across questions which i used to make mistakes on i used mm -hmm. to note down all of those questions section wise wherever okay. uh, which i thought was something tricky or something which i was not able to do for my future reference so when okay. uh, during my examination those were the only questions which i referred which i knew were a bit tricky okay so on the weekday you were attending the lecture after that you were reading the textbook making your notes yes. on weekend what was the strategy so on weekend i used to <clears throat> revise all of the chapters at once which i did all all over the week so uh, okay. uh, five chapters then i used to give tests after giving test uh, i uh, so let's say uh, today is my week 2 i uh, used to go through my week 1 notes which i used to make so as okay. i progressed on each and every weekend i used to uh, uh, keep on going back and revise and uh, go go through all the notes which i used to make okay so basically so first week 
whatever chapter you have completed at the end of the day, end of the week you will revise you will solve the intelligent question bank and then next week you will do the revision also Correct. slightly yeah. oh, okay interesting and the same process was followed every single yeah day. so that is how i tried to follow it yeah. okay so you were attending lecture on an average 2 hours and then after that how much time you were sitting to read and create notes so it is to take uh, around 1 1 and 1/2 hour uh, it depends some chapters i was very much comfortable with so i mm-hmm. could do it pretty much quickly sometimes it used to take 2 hours also it depends on the chapter so statistics was something which took some time uh, okay book 3 and book 4 was pretty much okay for me okay wonderful and then primarily when did you complete your full reading of the full completion of the curriculum and also since uh, you are doing solving of the question bank so i'm assuming that around that time itself you would have done solving the chapter wise question bank yes so uh, chapter wise question i did solve and uh, in the uh, i guess 11th or 12th april was the day which wherein i completed all of my portion okay. post uh, 11th or 12th april i kept on revising it and i uh, i have a habit of writing things down so in spite of my notes i again started writing down uh, the whole chapters again so that so you were uh, revising after that yeah yeah again i started you, revising you revise all the chapters in one go again okay. yes yes so everything i uh, started revising so i had pla- and a plan so every day five or six chapters i used to revise and give a test uh, so when the next time I, when i used to give test i mm-hmm. used to uh, refer the pdf version of the test and not the actual right so uh, instead of uh, pinpointing to the right answer i was more focused on how i would solve the question and i would just see the method if i was correct doing that okay wonderful and uh, so the idea is that uh, so when you were uh, completing the portion for the first time you were dedicating on an average 3 and 1/2 hour per single day after your yes. office and then when you yes. were revising the time dedication was still the same or it increased uh actually i had some work related things to do as well so i uh, it was on and off but then okay. uh, i i kept a target of chapters and not the duration of time i needed to study so i thought of completing two three chapters in one or two days then that i used to make sure that i completed and so i had also kept com- some buffer time as well okay so when did you complete your revision and when you are saying revision i am assuming that it is through the textbook correct so okay. uh, it took me around 2 to 2 and a half weeks i guess again to do the revision okay so from 11th of april till second last week of yeah april, last week of april yeah. and then what you did after that uh, after that i just went through the notes uh, then i gave the mock test or swizer notes itself okay and okay. Uh, i was just pretty much revising because i have this uh, method of keep on revision because i feel more and more if i revise then i, I can retain more uh, knowledge instead of doing it in one okay way. okay did you get opportunity to solve the sectional test important concept quiz which is also part of the question bank yes yes so i uh, okay. so in the last week of april i did those tests so revision again and solving of those things mock papers how were you solving mock papers what are the strategy for mock papers so actually i had solved only uh, one mock paper which was the uh, gar mock paper which is there the swizer one only i guess if i'm not wrong okay so okay. that Gar- is the only one which i solved yeah. okay you didn't get time to solve my mock paper or what happened I mean, you didn't get time actually I had some work related obligations i had to work There. okay 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 now yeah. and what was the score that you got if you remember from that uh, swizer and the gart mock papers uh, if i remember it correctly uh, uh, i guess around 60% i was correct in those so it was a 100 mark okay. paper so 60 was something right like okay okay perfect and so on the exam day now when you went for the exam day okay uh, what was what happened in that first hour when you started solving the questions in that first hour what happened uh, so in the first i mean uh, uh, the uh, questions are not anyways book wise uh, so mm-hmm. 
I took my time to read all the questions, but then uh, I was able to make sense of it. And uh, to be honest, in the whole exam, there was no question I felt that was not uh, studied by me. So it was like okay. I know this question, I know the approach. So that is that was the feeling which I had. Okay, and how many theory and how many calculations were there? If I would, I guess thirty percent would have been uh, calculation, but rest of it was theory. Also. And calculation was easy for you or somewhat difficult? What was the bifurcation? So there were some calculations which I had to revisit again. But then when I revisited them again, I was able to solve them. So they were okay. simpler, but if only if we have the concepts correct. And what about the theory? Theory question was it? How much out of that sixty, uh, for example, or seventy, were easy, or how much were something like slightly tricky? Uh, I I not able to comment because I found those easy, <laughs> but then. Okay. Uh, Yeah, but I couldn't say. I mean, it's on perception how people find it. Right? Okay, so but there were theory questions that were there, and one more thing: theory questions were very big, or one or two liner questions. Uh, it was a mix of both, but bigger ones were not very much. I mean, maybe five or six, not more than that. Okay, and did you find complications in solving two options in one go? I mean, in you got confused between two options in any question. Actually, uh, there was one instance uh, where I had answers, uh, two different answers. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that happened. But then okay. I went through the uh, went through it again, and then I chose the right answer, which is something I'm uh, perfectly positive on right now. Uh, if I just okay. revisit it, but yeah, there are uh, instances if we go wrong, but we also see the those answers uh, lying in the option so that there in that instance is also i uh, face it okay perfect perfect and when you came out of the exam you had any number in your mind okay i must have got this much right out of mandra uh, i uh, didn't give it much of a thought but i thought at least 80% of my answers were correct oh wow wonderful wonderful and so if i summarize your journey Till now, till the till the discussion that we had, so you started in January, dedicating around three hours per single day, okay, right. going through the so and in that three hour you are actually attending a lecture and solving the question bank okay, or right. doing the revision on weekend on an average about uh, four four five five hours per day, okay. Saturday and Sunday okay. you were dedicating, and you were able to complete everything by April mid, then you took the revision okay. of the entire thing, then you went to sectional test, mock papers and all of that. Right. So, what are the bigger challenges that you faced in the till your exam date, Prime? What was the issue that you faced in your preparation? Uh, I guess the biggest challenge was the formulas. The number of formulas were very much more, especially in uh, stats, the uh, test statistic formulas, right? So, those oh. are something I thought it was a challenge, but then I kept on revising. So, I had written all those formulas in a book. And I kept on revising it every single day post my uh, completion of uh, revision. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, uh, when you, what are the quartiles that you got? What are the result quartile? So for book one, my quartile was second. For the rest books, my quartile is first. So two one 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 primarily. Okay. Correct. Did you expect it this quartile when you came out of the exam? I'm uh, not sure. i think uh, not expected actually because i thought since i am a working guy maybe i might have misplaced my concentration in study but then uh, in the end it, it didn't uh, came out that way so i'm very much glad that it came out the way it came okay okay and primarily uh, when you look at your result okay what has been uh, the feedback of others when they saw the result you have cleared the exam people around you office people what was the feedback so everyone had has congratulated me and uh, to be honest while working i mean while doing this i have also won two awards in my workplace as well so no wow. one was expecting me to uh, be giving the exam so i had not confided this to anyone i thought of doing it uh, at my own pace uh, instead of letting people know it was just my manager who knew it but then i did it uh, i mean in a very quiet quiet manner 
perfect perfect i mean this is this yeah. is going to be very very motivating for people i mean performing at the job uh, starting out uh, in january okay clearing the exam in may not not very difficult 3 hours per day and you, you have set an example right people assume that if you're starting late late in the sense january or feb you could not you cannot clear the exam that is what the basic assumption is and you are able to perform well in office also plus the exam clearing and the quartiles are very good so yes, from you. that perspective i think so this interview is going to be very very uh, interesting people would love to have the understanding of your journey okay and the way you have prepared and the t- the tracker that you are following in terms of lectures because i am i generally uh, take lectures in the same order of my track track mm. just to follow the pattern and uh, you were able to attend the lectures and do your put one hour hour of your preparation every single day so i think that consistency actually paid off to you and uh, in the next three months i mean january mid till feb march and april primarily you were able to complete the 60 chapters properly that led to the cascading effect of exam result primarily right so wonderful parish i mean this is going to be very interesting interview for people to see and get motivated and then a lot of people cannot uh, say a reason that i am working professional i cannot prepare in three months right. right so wonderful thank you very much parish and thank you very much for joining and uh, sharing thank your you, experience yeah. and this is going to be thank very you, interesting sir. and important interview for the students thank you thank you sir